Hello, so um, this is going to be the first of a two-parter and it's going to be a tutorial to start with and then there'll be a play along following this video uh, with a little help from my friends. So look for with a little help from my friends play along and that will be me singing and playing along with the song so you can join in and play along with me. And this this will be more a little bit about what's going on the song, what to look out for, a little hit, hints and tips and also about the strumming. So the BBUC have decided that this will be the song that they're going to break into the record industry with so we need to do a good job and uh, learn this song. And uh, the first part of this song is uh, the chords. So we'll look at the chords, obviously G, which we should know, nice and easy. Um, some of the chords in here are a little bit trickier, maybe the only one that I would say that's probably a little bit tricky, but we have done this before, is the D, which you can use with all three fingers as shown in the diagram, so across that second fret there. Or you can use a bar. I use a bar on a little finger and that's a little bit of a stretch, but I just like the sound of it. Uh, if you want to, you can try that out, which is on the fifth fret, the little finger, or just use your bar across the second fret to get those, those notes. And if you've got little fingers, then see if you can get them in there, that'd be great. Otherwise, A minor is very straightforward. Uh, D7, obviously very straightforward, because that's just one note added to that A minor. C, E, obviously that's easy. F, we've done this a ton of times, A7, one finger. So really, it's only the D that needs a little bit of practice. Um, but if you can get that D, that'll open up the door to a lot of other songs as well. Um, but if you've got all that together and you're kind of confident with the chords, and we look at that first drumming pattern, uh, and the strumming pattern that we're going to be using in general all the way through will be um, a swingy, bouncy fill. So what I'm talking about, if I do this on a G chord, normally an eighth note down and up strum will be one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and... And so the idea will be you'll, all the strumming, uh, all the strums will be equally apart one and two and three and four. So they're equally apart, one and two and three and four. When we talk about doing a swing or a bouncy fill, this swing fill is where the upstroke will be closer to the next downbeat. Down, up, down, up, down. So you can see I go one, and there's a little bit of a pause. My, my downstroke is left a little bit hanging before going up again. Down, up, down. So if you can practice this, this will be the strumming pattern to practice. Just down, up, down, up, down, up, down. So that would be the general feel. That would be what my arm movement is doing all the way through the song. Um, obviously, when you see me sing and play it, you'll notice I will miss out some of the upstrokes. So sometimes I'll be doing just the downs and putting those upstrokes in. And I kind of do it wherever I feel because I'm singing and playing, so I don't really think about it so much. Um, but if you want to start out with something, then it would be doing it on every one like that. If you find that too difficult because you're working on the chord changes, then just keep the downs and they just stay on the beat too. For it's these upstrokes that swing and that, what I remember swing, it, it swings slightly away from um, where it was before. So it was straight, equally apart. Uh, sorry. And now we're going to swing it slightly apart and we move it. That's, that's how we want to look at that rhythm. So we're going to go down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. Okay, so we get that rhythm. That's the most important thing, I think, is getting the feel of it right. And then uh, if we just look at that first section, which is G, D, A minor, D7, and G with that rhythm pattern. You're looking at doing two beats on G, two beats on D, four on A minor, four on the D7, four on the G. Repeat that twice, and that's the same in the verse. And just make those choruses really big. So looking at the rhythm to start with, um, just for that intro, if you like, it'll be down, up, down, up, D. A minor, four beats, one, two, three, four, and G, two, three, four, and that will repeat again. So that, that is the, the basic feel of it that you'll be playing. That's a roughly about the same sort of speed. We can do it a little bit quicker or a little bit slower depending on how we feel, but that's about the right speed I feel for the moment. And uh, the only thing really is the accent, make those choruses big. So if you're struggling with those upstrokes, putting them in the right place, as long as you get those downs big for the chorus, especially down, down, C, C, G. I get by with little help from my friends. I get high with a little help from my friends 
And then we've got that bridge, which we've got an E minor. Um, obviously, E minor is a chord that, that crops up every now and again. We have done it before. It's just all fingers in a row. One, two, three. I do believe it's, is it on the sheet? Yeah, it's just tucked at the bottom there, E minor. You'll have the sheet, obviously. Couldn't fit it all in there without it being so small that it'd be unreadable. But E minor, <clears throat> let me lift the page up so you can see that. Look, E minor, one, two, and three. We have done this. This is in a few songs as well. Any chord you're struggling with, just spend time on it. Spend time on that, on that chord to get your fingers in the right place. Strum, do that bouncy swing feel strum on the chord. Lift your fingers up, wiggle them around, get back on it. Really exercise the, the new chords um, so that we can get this song good. And uh, yeah, just join in, sing along with the play along. Um, I don't think there's anything else to say for the moment. So the, the swing beat feel. Um, and obviously getting all the chords and the right fingerings, getting comfortable with those. Work for each section one at a time, that'd be the best way. And uh, this should be a good song to, to play and I've got someone next door doing their fence, so it's quite, <laughs> sorry if you can hear noise in the background. But anyway, so yeah, enjoy that. Um, work on those little tips and then hop to my play along and see if you can keep up with the song. And uh, best of luck, see you soon.